the deal of a lifetime. Disney negotiates with Marvel. Disney seems to be trying to position itself to be the largest distributor of animated films. The purchase of Marvel would innovate the products that Disney has to offer. Disney will have access to over 7,000 characters. Disney will also have access to a wide range of creative artists from all over the world. The objective criteria used by Disney was offering cash and stock that equal up to $4 billion for the purchase of Marvel. Marvel would get to display a degree of autonomy by operating independently of Disney, who is known for their micromanaging of projects. A mutual benefit was established because neither company was under financial pressure in the negotiation process. They could negotiate strictly based on fair market value. The CEOs of both companies are in charge of billion dollar operations. Mr. Egger from Disney made the leap of faith to go to Mr. Pullmutter and negotiate face to face. Mr. Egger was very transparent with his approach to the negotiation. The negotiation took three months to complete but ended in a $4 billion purchase being made. The agreement will make Disney and Marvel a financial force. The agreement that was reached will foster long-term relationships because both companies get to remain autonomous. Marvel will have the backing of a billion-dollar company. Disney has already purchased Pixar and using them to create classic animated films. Disney will now take animated characters and bring them to film as live-action heroes. These are the references for Disney to acquisitioning Marvel. Thank you.